Good day everyone, I'm Dane Erica Jose Labrador and today I am going to present to you the historical background, culture, belief and tradition and dances of one of the pride tribe of Tampakan, the Blaan tribe. What is Blaan? The Blaan are one of the indigenous people of southern Mindanao in the Philippines. Their name could have derived from Bla meaning opponent and the suffix An meaning people. The Blaans in South Cotabato were renowned hunters and food gatherers. They hunted wild animals and were reaping grains, root crops, fruits, and herbs in the once vast open space of Cogonal land, known as Colon Datal, nowadays Coronadal City. Historical Background of Blaan People The origin of the Blaan is obscured by the mist of antiquity. Though people of rich traditional, almost nothing is known about them in view of the absence of ancient records. The Blaan belong to the second group of people who migrated to the islands between 12,000 and 15,000 years ago. According to the Blaan folktale told by Fulong, the early Blaans arrived at the country next to the Tuubali or tiny people. The Blaan are neighbors of Datiboli and live in Lake Cebu and Tiboli municipalities of South Cotabato, Sarangani, General Santo City, the southeastern part of Davao, and around Lake Buluan in North Cotabato. Some Blaan natives were displaced when General Santo City was founded in 1939. Others settled in the city. Culture and Tradition A Blaan community is organized under a local fulong, or bong fulong means leadership of Blaan, who has sovereign authority over an area depending on his own influence. This position is heritable by the firstborn. Close family ties have always been recognized as one of the core values of Blaan families and are deeply embedded in their culture. The Blaans have their own system of weaving using abaca fiber. But before weaving the topical patterns, rituals are held in accordance with the Blaan culture. But only the weavers know about these rituals and before making any pattern or design, divine guidance is first sought. Religious Aspects of Blaan The Blaan believe in the existence of supreme being known as God or Dwata. He is the planters or mula of heaven or langit and earth tana and everything thereof. Under him and other supernatural beings with lower ranks of power or authority, the guardian spirit or El Nilong. To the Blaan's nature is entrusted for safekeeping. The guardian spirit are not creator, since creator belongs to God. As guardians or Isnalig, they are often referred as the owner of nature or Imfun. Thus, there is the owner of the sea, Imfun Mabin, with the owner of the forest, Mfun Bilag. God is the creator of the guardian spirit and guardians and man as the user. Traditionally, the Blaan have several ways of disposing of their dead. Burial in the ground, hanging the corpse up in the tree branches, inserting the cadaver into the trunk of a tree, abandoning the body in the house where the person died, the house is also abandoned, or just abandoning the body where the person died. Blaans are really famous on rituals, charms, etc. Some of the rituals to mention are the following. Askalot. It is dipping of fingers, hands into the boiling water. This is being done if there is a denial on crimes being accused on you. A test of truth. If you burn, you are guilty. If not, meaning not guilty of crimes charged against you. Others are Asbulong Ditana, Asbulong Dita Abu, Admuman, Samidak, Lam Eil, Marong, Damsu, and Fatak. Blaan Festival and Events Blaan has a festival known as Blaan Day or IP Day. Blaan Day aims to promote the rich cultural heritage and traditions of the Blaans in the city. It started in 2015, a year after the historic appointment of the city's first ever IPMR tribal leader Fulong Mario Empal. Among the Blaan tribe, dancing is the core of any festivity and merrymaking. It is the highlight of any festivity, especially during wedding ceremony or mimo ninom or molo or asdumo. For male attires and accessories, the utob or head cover, saul a common term for top of upper garment, salwal a common term of pants or trousers. For female, swat a comb and headdress, ole or earrings, sla bed necklace, albong or album, common blaan term for blouse, and gintlo blaan term for the plaid skirt. Blaan's musical instruments, falnimak or agong, tang or gong, bagul, a wood covered by rubber, 
tananggong or goat or deer skin drum, fuglong or two-string guitar, falandag or flute, duage for violin, and klintang kayo, wooden musical tree. The Blaan dances portrays different body gestures which symbolizes palmayak, swaying of hands, fingers up and down depicts the birds flying, filay lawi, turning around and ready for anything that would come, admafo, akfo, hands on breast meaning you are at peace or east, asmigo or elbowing meaning you are telling viewers look at me, I'm good in dancing, tamfalel or open hands palm forward in and out, meaning invitation to others to dance with you. Salmigen o sasligun, curting, just like the hen and rooster making love. Fifiu bau, movement of beautifying of the face. Adjo, movements of taking a bath. Afkak, movements of jumping or falto. Mela, meaning running. Amla falu, movements of showing planting. Kamtu falu, movements of showing harvesting of palay. As malaf or kamfu klange, movements showing catching of fish and crabs. Samalofak, movements showing looking frogs using kerosene with torch. Utem, sounds produced from any Blaan musical instrument, especially the guitar, sam utem, or sound tempo. A Blaan dance will be featured during the event. It is a cultural dance interpretation in relation to the beliefs of the Blaan tribe in upland rice farming. The dance opens with playing of the two-string guitar called Foglong. It is followed by asking God to guide the farmer in choosing the right field or plot to plant, blessing of the plot, and then planting rituals. The final act is the thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest as a result of the blessing from God. The Blaans have the Maral, which is a series of dances depicting the stages in upland rice planting. It starts from the Maba, the farmer's search for the Kainin or Sweden area, the Almigo or clearing of the forest, the Amla or the planting stage, which ends with the Kamto, the harvest by women. Maral Salanay Maral Salanay is a dance performed by indigenous people of Blaan. This dance is performed by women who portray the spirit of a young lady named Sulanay. Through this dance, they try to show grace, beauty, and diligence which Sulanay represents. Blit Blaan, Blaan Bird Dance Blit Blaan is a courtship dance of the Blaan people of Davao del Sur in which the dancers mimic the behavior of forest birds in the mating season. Two male dancers that represent richly plumbed male birds eye three females. The females try to hide from the males, burying their heads under their wings, which are represented by their malongs. Still, the aggressive males pursue them. A tubular cloth called a malong is used by the female dancers to represent the bird's wings.